What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 Mighty video. And guys, today, as usual, we're gonna go over the market. A uh, lot to go over. As you can see, my MT is down a lot. And uh, yeah, a um, lot to talk about. As usual, man, drop 20,000 MT in the comments. Like the vid sub if you're new for a chance of winning 20,000 MT. If we get the vid to 100 likes, we'll give away 20,000 MT to two people. So yeah, make sure to smash that like button. A lot of market talk. A lot of stuff to talk about. We're going to go over everything in this video. Um, pretty much right now, looks like the market is rising. But one thing that's dropping is Larry Bird, man. I will be picking my Larry Bird up very soon. I'll probably be selling my team. Honestly, look, I'll show you who I picked up. So I picked up AI. I picked up Kobe. I picked up Rondo. Picked up AD. Picked up Booker. Picked up Harden. Mello. Josh Smith. DeAndre Aiden. Pedja. And honestly, every single card I could safely say I'm going to make profit off. Um, let's check. I got AD for 50k with a diamond contract, so that's a dub. Let's check out his price. I'm gonna pretty much go over a little bit of prices, tell you what you guys should do with the market going up and down and whatnot. So, pretty much just a ton of methods, I guess you could say, for uh, this video. Just gonna go over a ton of pricing, so stay tuned for that. So, moments of the week 10 AD supposedly isn't up here. Um, oh, it's moments of the week six. That's why. So moments of the week six, 90k, no way. 83, 77. Oh my goodness. So 66. I have a diamond contract. Si wait, yeah, 60k. I got mine for 50, and I have a diamond contract on it. So if you ask me, I'm gonna probably make about 10k, 20k off this card alone. So that's big dubs for me. That's a good start. So. With Anthony Davis, I'm going to make about 10K. Kobe, I got him for 80. Actually, no, I got him for 79K on the dot. I believe he's up to 90-something K. So, 79K on 98K, 95K, 90K, 91. So, 78. All right, we're going to we're gonna make about 1K. We're going to make 2K, actually. So, 12K there. Devin Booker got for 88 on a snipe. He's 100K. 105k so let's just say we're gonna make another 4k there so we're gonna make about 16k there rondo let's check out rondo's price rondo i got for 52 actually maybe even maybe even cheaper 50 some i got him for 50 something he's going for around 69 all right i'll make about 5k let's just say i make about 6k I'm up to, let's realistically, I'll round up to 20K. So 20K off four cards, 5K apiece. <clears throat> AI got for 100K. He's going for around 110. Not going to make profit there. Um, AD, I already said that. Booker Harden, I got for about 75. I think he's up to about 84, 90. Not really going to make money off him. But yo, there's a lot of things. Let's see. A lot of things are slowly going up. This is the next day I'm talking about. I'm going to make, all right, he's up to 90. So I would make a solid... Five six k. So <clears throat> if you think about it, every single car I've picked up, I'm gonna make a solid five six k plus. I literally just picked them up on the market crash. I'm using them for now, but yeah, I do want to sell a lot of cards. I don't like having any cards in two k. You never know what a crazy market crash is gonna happen. Also, if you guys did stock up on Josh Schmitz, I'm almost guaranteeing he's way more than what he was yesterday early in the day. Because uh, if you guys don't notice, when the packs first drop, they always drop to a price really, really cheap. And then they go up. Like, Josh Smith was at a point like 30K. I really don't think he's that cheap. 30K. Is he under 30K? Because that would be kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, I figured. So, yesterday he was at a base of 30K. He went up to around 37-ish. So... That's pretty big dubs. If you do have Josh Smith, I will be selling mine. I personally think his card is garbage. So, yeah, I will definitely be selling mine. I sniped out a couple George Mikans yesterday off the Diamond Filter. Um, honestly, yesterday I didn't really play the game too much. I kind of was. I kind of was doing something else yesterday. I was really busy yesterday, but I heard that the Diamond Filter was popping yesterday. I heard so many J.R. Smith miss snipes. I don't know how people sit there. And try to snipe that because I every time I try sniping those big ballers, I never get it. Uh, and honestly, also, I just missed the Donovan Mitchell for 100k. It's on my Twitter. 
um i was literally just looking for like the bid i just wanted to see what the bid was and right there there was a buyout and i literally just looked at it and i didn't even realize until like a minute later so yeah l's there <clears throat> right now market tips for you guys so pretty much if you have your team i'm gonna say you can play a couple games with it you probably have a stack team if you listen to my methods um i would honestly if i were you i would sell no nah, nah, i wouldn't sell i would I would try to keep your cards for now. Try to keep them till Sunday if you want, if you really do want to sell. And just sell Sunday because you are going to make a lot, a lot of MC on Sunday. So try it out. Right now, think about it. A day later, you're going to make a minimum 5 to 10K, even more. So right there, that's a dub, right? Plus, that's, that's counting the reduction. So, okay, that's a dub. You wait an extra day, maybe they'll go up even more. Wait, and then Monday's Moments Day, so you're going to snipe Moments Monday Day. You're going to sit on the auction for at least an hour on Moments Day. Get your MC racked up, all that good stuff. And then, with that being said, you're going to go on to my videos on Tuesday. And then you're going to listen to my, my tips and methods on Monday. Um, what's it called? Monday? Honestly, one thing I'm going to say on Monday is Amethyst 20 filter on moments also i'm gonna go over in this video moments 20 filter if you guys did snipe any players i got one kd on this filter for 5k in my collection dude i don't know how much he's going for nowadays but i did get abby kd for 1000 mt i mean 5000 mt and he's going for around 10 ish not bad i'll take that quick 4k 9k all right i'm gonna wait till all right 9800 solid 4k right there um this filter has been the money filter for so long also if you guys don't know silver filter is straight heat it, to fill up your collection and to just pretty much do anything the silver filter has been so fire like honestly i'm about to buy some silvers to fill up my collection or even just try to snipe them because it's so worth it you just literally i love it Ooh, I like that. I never seen this guy on the auction once. I bet you he goes for bread. The silver filter has been so money, and he is 1900. All right, well, I'm just gonna add to my collection then. Pretty much, this is why I see it. So you need these silvers to fill up your collection, regardless. So if you get one for cheap, realistically, you could sell them and make at least like 200 MT, no matter what. But not only that, if you don't want to sell them, you can just throw them in your collection and you can honestly, you can get tokens for it if you do fill up the collection. So realistically, this is why I like this filter. It's a dub and if you snap any Thunder, King, Sun Nuggets players and a lot of other silvers, you make so much MT. It's actually insane. Also, I would recommend trying out the heat check filter. Ooh, i never seen this guy. How much does he go for? I've never seen him in my life. What? Man, I'm whack. All right, I'll still make MT though. So right there, he's going for 2,200. I got him for 13. All right, it's not a lot of MT, but imagine doing that 10 times in a minute. That's like 8K MT. That's what I'm saying. So now we got the heat check filter. Also need these to complete these collections. People are going to need them. Now they are a little bit expensive. That's why I do recommend putting your prices a little lower because some of them are really expensive but some of them go for 5k i sold some for 8k i sold some for 12k some of these are really rare i would try silver though the silver method is honestly going to work more efficiently than the heat check more people are pulling silvers more people are posting silvers i think there's more um technically silvers in the game he looks kind of rare but i have him already uh we have him i'll buy mm. I want to buy, I want to complete a ton of collections, man. I want to get that collector's level up. So I'm going to try to buy everything I don't have, man. Um, But yeah, honestly, guys, that's it. Just a bunch of tips in this video. Right now, don't sell your cards yet. Wait till Sunday. Every card you got, wait till Sunday. Just honestly, a quick little tip video for you guys. And honestly, what do you guys think about the new content? Personally, I want to hear it down in the comments. Instead, I put in 20K. Let me know what you guys do, what you guys think about these packs. Because honestly, I honestly don't like them at all. I don't think the Granger's good. I don't think anything's really good. But one thing I can say is that the Larry Bird at 200k is really good. I like that. Other than that, I don't know. It's kind of iffy. I think Larry Bird's cool. J.R. Smith's cool, but he's way too expensive. And that's what I really think about the collection. But yeah, let me know down below. 
Anyways, though, I hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.